Hello, and welcome to another SprueCam tutorial brought to you by SprueCam America. In this tutorial, I will go over how to create a G55 coordinate system or G56, G57, just another coordinate system other than G54. You'll see here that I have one drawn. I've been getting this a lot lately, um, so I figured I'd get a video going for you. Uh, just because you have a coordinate system drawn does not mean that that is going to be the active coordinate system. You'll notice here, wherever that little G54 is, that is the actual coordinate system that's being used. All right, so I'm gonna delete this out. So there we go, we've got our G54. Now let's say we want to machine this out. Um, so we're gonna create a roughing waterline. And I'll just do this, faces, run. All right, there we go, we got some toolpaths. So, we now want to do it on this side. So what I'm going to do then is create an auxiliary operation. So auxiliary, auxiliary op. And what this is gonna do is stop the machine for us. So, first thing that we want to do is go to load tool. Uh, ATC or no ATC, this is good. It takes it up to the tool change position. Uh, it'll allow you to take that tool out you know, if you've got chamfer mill in there or something like that, you can slice your hand up pretty good. So we want to get that out of the way. Load tool, comment, flip for G55, enter, and stop. Double click that, and that will put an M0 stop in there for you. So we can hit OK. And we will now create our next operation. We'll just say, let's make this a 2D contour op. All right. So we need to create the coordinate system. What I like to do is try and find a point. Um, normally, you'd click this point right here and click the coordinate system. Uh, I'm going to click this edge just so I can show you guys the properties. So. If you click an edge or if you click a face and you create the coordinate system, it's going to snap to the middle of that. Well, I only want to adjust one value in this case, so I'm just going to click that edge. I come up to here, hit this little drop down box, and we've got creation of coordinate system by window, or you can do this one. Either or will work fine. I'm going to hit that one, and there we go. Now, this is into that corner, and I want it there. So, you click this little pointer guy right here pointing at the paper it's coordinate system properties and we're going to adjust this now you'll think hey we want to move this up in the y-axis and that's not the case in this property box and that's why i want to go over this because it's a little bit confusing uh, it's actually in relation to this g54 coordinate system so if i want to move it this coordinate system what appears to be in the y i'm actually moving that in the z so, I'm going to take the Z. Uh, if you think of it in here, we're actually negative 0.375. Well, I want to snap that up to Z0. So I'm going to put 0, and you'll see there it shows it. Hit OK. There we go. We've got our coordinate system on that edge. So we now go over to Workpiece Setup down here. So you click that. Make sure you're on the 2D contouring. If you're on anything else, uh, make sure you click that. So setup, workpiece setup, hit the three little dots. This drop box right here, you drop that down to local CS1. That's the coordinate system we just drew. And you'll notice the name's up there, so it'll tell you. And hit OK. And then workpiece setup, workpiece coordinate system, I should say. Uh, you hit the three dots next to that. You do the same, drop down box, your local coordinate system. And now here is where you put the, the coordinate system value. If it's G54, uh, in this case, we want G55. And you hit OK. And you'll notice it now says G55 right on that corner. So now the machine knows that, all right, here we go. This is how we're going to machine now. So I can hit this little edge right here, over here, curve. Uh, I'm going to set just a bottom level. And let's pick a tool, preferably one that is not a 25 millimeter, let's just say that. Just as just an example, I'm not gonna mill out that whole area. Run, and there you go. We are now milling 
in this orientation. And this has been another Sprue Camp tutorial brought to you by Sprue Camp America. Have a nice day.